Now I could have done this in a different way, so let's just get rid of all these keyframes. Come over here, and I'm going to use this section, which is underneath the words, which adds what's called areas. So I'm going to say, right, at about two seconds, that's the duration of the flying in. I'm going to right click and then say, add an area. Move along a bit. I'm going to right click and add another area. And I've divided the text up into three areas. So that's the flying in, that's the sitting there doing nothing, that's the flying out. I can grab hold of these little red lines in the middle and change the size of the areas if I feel like it. Now at the moment, just adding those areas has done nothing. But what I can now do is come over to this one here and again go to the translate. And at the end there, I'm just going to put in a couple of points, go to the start and then grab hold of it and move it off. And now what I've got is it flies in and then it sits there. And at the end, let's put in another keyframe and at the very end, another one which gets it to uh, fly up there. That does more or less the same thing. But the value of these areas is that what I can now do is I can come to the area, right click on it and then say, don't just play the text in, play it in by character, please. Then click on this and, oh. Now this is going really, really, really fast. So let's make it bigger. Make that area bigger. And then you can see what's happening is each letter is actually flying in so because I've just put a motion path on there between those two points, each letter actually flies in on its own down this path, then it sits there. So just by adding an area, I've got it to fly in each letter separately rather than the whole word separately. You can also see that you can do in, out. Let's go to the end and say, oh, character out and play that. Oh, there, each letter flies off that away. I can change the speed. So let's just take it down a bit. put it in a minus speed that means the words are actually flying in from the opposite direction or I can make my own speed up or I can choose a random amount yep that's pretty random I quite liked it going in at point two at a time if I don't have a motion path on it let's just dump all these keyframes completely turn off animation then now the words type on screen and type off again. You wouldn't believe how many times we've been asked how can I type stuff on screen. That's the easier way of doing it in Viz Title. Add an area and tell it, oh, just play it in by character. So you can play it in by line. Won't make any difference here. I've only got one line of text. But if I was to split that up, oh, no, I can't see the text to split it up into different lines. The reason for that, obviously, is I'm at the start of the timeline and basically you can't see it because the text isn't there yet. This is why you have this button. Right now I need to split it into three lines. Click on that. I'll get back to seeing the text and I can split it up, make a bunch of different lines, put it back into animation mode and play in by line and then you can see I get that kind of thing going on.